All right, we're going to head back up to the Hamilton Warplane Heritage Museum. Bob Cowan is there, and uh, <laughs> now what's he up to? Well, you think with the cost of aviation fuel, Leslie, they do the windows for you. You would at the think, Bob, station. but they saved that for you to do this morning, so <laughs> yeah. you're doing a fine job. Oh, thank add. you very much. You can see me okay? Oh, yeah, you look good. You can see my pilot okay? Um, kind of. Dave Rohr. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> President and CEO of the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum, and actually, and of course, we're here for the Hamilton Air Show going all weekend. Yeah. And now you actually, we're in the B-25, which you flew for 11 years in your uh, in your career. Yes, yeah, it's a B-25, and uh, this is the only flying B-25 in Canada, and it's one of the collection. Many Canadians flew them in the war under the Royal Air Force Squadron, right. and we flew them in Canada post-war. How, how many are flying in, uh, globally? Oh, I would say uh, probably about 17 uh -huh. in the world, Not and too many. this is the only flying one in Canada. Yeah, so, wow. Yeah. So, yeah, the, so, um, the uh, post-war role for these were largely... Well, uh, transport, pilot training, multi-engine training, and navigator training, uh, they were a big uh, uh, use for the Royal Canadian Air Force until 63. Oh, just amazing! We, and actually, uh, well, we have more of it, more on it coming up later. But we say it was in formation with us in the uh, flight yesterday in the Lancaster. We were yeah. a magnificent sight. We have uh, lots of those great shots coming up this morning. But uh, yeah, you're <laughs> it's actually a funny story because before the corporate jet age, this was the corporate jet. This was the airplane that corporations wanted in the in the late '50s, early '60s. And this airplane, uh, when we got it, had been a corporate airplane. We had pink shag rugs in it and purple shag rugs. Yeah, and baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. It truly was. <laughs> well, listen, uh, this is just one of many uh, very rare examples of the Hamilton Air Show. Many of them, you know, it's very much a flying show. And uh, we got to fly off to, uh, you know what, I'm, I'm, hey, say, we're going to throw the weather here, but uh, I'm going to get you to start the engine. Absolutely. And uh, Steve will get you to uh, do the weather, but I'm going to say, here's your weather now because you won't be able to hear me. Fire it up right now, Dave. We'll give the Mustang a race. All right, All right here, here we go. go. The B-25, this is still in action. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah, did we get points for our fill-up? I can't remember. <laughs> Clear right. Clear right. Okay. You just yeah. tell me what to say and I'll okay. say it with authority. This thing starts like my Volvo. Yeah. You're late for work a lot, aren't I you? I am, <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what? It's live TV. This stuff always happens. Oh, uh, no, that's right. How many times have we had a B-25 not start on morning live? I've lost Here count. we go. Oh, here we go. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're running. You wouldn't want to have to leave Back in the morning from your driveway <laughs> with that. <laughs> Too early in the day, anyway. Okay, Bob, we'll be back to you a little bit later on. Our Bob Cowan is uh, trying to set a record for how many airplanes he can actually just sit in during the morning show. <laughs> Let's go I, to him right now. I heard that. Thanks, Leslie. I'm just, so, oh, Leon, when you move the joystick, this one moves too. <laughs> you don't want to know, yeah, geez, you don't wanna know where it is right now. Okay, There's no yeah. joy in that. I'll watch that in the future. It's, okay, it's the Hamilton Air Show. Okay, I'm sitting in a plane right now. It's going on all weekend long. Uh, <laughs> HamiltonAirShow.com, free parking, $25 for adults, and just so much jam-packed fun with all kinds of vintage uh, planes that uh, many, in many cases, are the only ones left flying in the world. And it, yes, it's very much a flying show with daily shows getting underway at 2 o'clock, but the gates open up here. Uh, I'm at uh, Hamilton International by the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum uh, at uh, 9 o'clock this morning. So we're getting a sneak peek on Morning Live, and yes, it's very much a flying air show, so if you can uh, hit the start button, we got a taxi out. All clear? All right, all clear. So, by the way, what are we firing up here? This is the uh, Scareman? Oh! Oh, yeah, and there's no smoke, no, uh, no oil in the engine, you know, so no. we got to have oil in it. This is the Scareman. All right. And that's the Continental engine. Steer away the steerman. So, give me, if you can hear us, what's the history of this bird? This airplane was built in 1937, and it's, uh, hang on just a second, Bob, there we go. Um, it was built in 1937, the armed forces got it in 1939. Right. But it was too cold to sit back here and up front, out west in the uh, prairies, learning to fly, so we yeah. switched the Cornells. This is a lovely airplane. It's a, it's one of the strongest airplanes in the museum. Well, that's good to know. It is. It is too. Now, they when don't we get upside like they down, used to. oh, they don't, Bob. No. Yeah. Once we get upside down, Bob, you'll find out that uh, upside it, down. Oh yeah. Abort! 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 Back to you, Leslie. 
We're not going upside down. You saw me yesterday. I hope he packed his parachute. Yeah. Someone forgot to tell him that they were actually going up. Well, we'll check in with Bob later to see how he fares. We are going to go up to my uh, counterpart uh, right now, Bob, at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. Of course, the air show kicks off this weekend, and he's having fun of his own. Hey, Bob. Oh, and this is one of the highlights. I'm inside the historic Avro Lancaster with souvenir bag, Did you want me <laughs> which to... came in handy yesterday. You want me to sign that, Bob? But... <laughs> Holy on heavens. Yeah, you were a witness yesterday. Okay, well, my cameraman, Luke Gudgeon, too, he was having... We were a little yes. wobbly coming off that flight yesterday. It we'll was, have some yeah. of the video coming up shortly. It was hot, Bob. It was bumpy and hot. We were doing some pretty steep turns out there, so. Yeah. I understand. It looked so much calmer when I saw the other one. Uh, the last time I saw Lancaster flying was the Royal Wedding. Yes. That's yeah. one of two Lancasters flying That's in the correct. world. One in London, uh, the other being here in Hamilton with yes. the Warplane Heritage Museum. And actually, this is the only privately owned Lancaster. The That's British correct. government owns the other Lancaster. You guys work with that crew? We work we work very closely with that crew, and this is the only airplane that you can go for a ride in. So we have a lot of British people, uh, UK people coming over here just to go for a ride in the airplane. I bet. Yes, yeah. or even to get in it. You can't and get in the British one because it's a military aircraft. Right, yeah. right. Um, and I, a lot of pilots want to get on board, uh, guys like yourself. With Absolutely. All... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. but, but mind you, uh, conversely, there's a lot of pilots that don't want to be the guy to mess up this priceless bird. And it is quite literally priceless. That's the technical term. This yes. is uninsurable. There is That's no insurance correct. on there's this. There's no hull insurance. No, you can't. And um, how would you start? It took them uh, 10 years to restore this airplane. 10 years, you know, and that's... Uh, the volunteer hours alone, hundreds of thousands of hours. Yeah, I, um, I. if we're not rolling our video, let's get it rolling. We had a beautiful flight yesterday. It was great. And we flew over some veterans in Toronto yes, we as well. did. Saw them last night on the TV. It was yeah, great to yeah, see. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we had a nice flyover on uh, the Sound of Music Festival in Burlington. You guys are so accommodating, too, because we had our cameras positioned along the lakeshore at the Sound of Music Festival. And well, this is music right here. These engines, the four Merlin engines uh, running together in harmony, and it is harmonic. Yeah. And we changed the pitch on the propellers. It's a wonderful sound. And a wonderful view, too. It is yeah. just amazing. Uh, there's there's the turrets, of course, but yeah. just standing up in the uh, observation uh, dome. Yes. And, of course, we had a lot of historic birds you know, flying in formation with us. We did. Yeah. Yeah, we had the Hell Diver, and we had the Firefly, and the yeah. B-25. You know what? There's so much to talk about about this particular plane, and I'm hearing we've got to go to break. So, you know what? Yes. Let's pick up. Oh, are we, are, okay, we just bought some extra time because this particular plane. Oh, we had just a few more seconds. You know what? Just show more of this beautiful video of this yeah. formation shot. We'll talk about those birds because I know one of them, the Hell Hell Diver, which is here yes. at the Hamilton Air Show, yes. it's the last one flying in That's the world. That's right, and it's sitting just behind you over there. Yeah, this airplane actually started out as a twin-engine airplane, Bob. Had two Vulture engines. Now we have Merlin engines, and the the, mult, uh, the Vulture engine was actually two Peregrine engines bolted together. And mm -hmm. if, if you notice, Vulture, Peregrine, Merlin, they're birds of prey. Right. Uh, Rolls-Royce named all of their engines after birds of prey. At least the piston engines, the Merlin. People think that's the magician from the, the court of King Arthur. <laughs> right. That's a bird. It's a pigeon hawk. Well, in that flight yesterday, you know, and yeah, it was a little bumpy. We're a little wobbly yep. getting off. Yep. Um, we were just imagining in a wartime situation and trying to guys trying to shoot you out of the sky. Just, you know, those heroes that were, and yes. there, were, there were kids in this plane. That's right. Lots more on that coming up. We do have to take a quick break. Leon, okay. thank you so much. Lots more from the Hamilton Air Show. It's going all weekend and lots more. A sneak peek on Morning Live to come. Yeah, Bob, I'll take that back. <laughs> yeah, can you sign this? I'll sign that for you. <laughs> All right, well, as we've been mentioning, I've been flying solo all morning this morning because Bob decided to take off and go flying at the Hamilton International Airport. Yes, after 10 years absence, the air show's back. Bob, you having some fun? It's back and noisier than ever. Yes. Can you hear me okay? I can. Okay, we've got this uh, plane fired up behind us because we've got a little demo going on. Dave Rohrer, give him the cue for the wing thingy. Is that what you guys call it, the wing thingy? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, this is... Uh, the uh, very firefly. Yeah, it was a Royal Canadian Navy fighter reconnaissance. Only two in the world flying today. Went into service about 46, stayed in service till the late 50s. So, landing on aircraft carriers? Yes. yes. So, it has to have that wing tool. That was it. Yeah. 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 Alright. 2200 horsepower ship and Royal Flight engine. Wow. Back, and then back plane to move to the earlier morning. Lots of magnificent stuff we had flying in the Lancaster. The, uh, the yesterday. Is that is correct. Yeah. Wow. That, okay, so skip the queue. What do you do? I just let him uh, turn the look at me. Okay. We could have cut it out. Okay. okay. So 
Yeah, we're going for a hearing check. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, when does the ringing stop? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there we go. About tonight at six o'clock. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. It's a loud show because this is a, this isn't a static air show. The Hamilton air show is very much a flying air show. That's very cool, though. Uh, yeah. Let's walk over to it. Sure. So yeah, yeah, there was a rare. Um, there was yeah. a window in uh, Canadian naval history where we actually had aircraft carriers. We had two. There was the Bonaventure and the Magnificent. Yeah. We and you mentioned we shaved with them this we, morning. I shaved with them this morning. They went to scrap in Japan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is Steve McIntosh, our pilot. Hey, Steve, thanks very much for firing it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah and it, yeah, it was beautiful seeing this yeah. off our wingtip yesterday inside the Lancaster. Oh, yeah, we had a great time. And these, this is a radiator just like on a car. So it's, it is. Uh, yeah, it's liquid cooled and uh, a 2200 horsepower Griffin engine, uh, 16,000 pound airplane, and it's a very uh, great, uh, good performance carrier base. So it had lots of power. And, uh, and the Steve, only the only one flying in Canada this you mentioned two in, in the world two in the world two in the world incredible and this is just one of many examples where and this just... was the first type of airplane the museum ever got back in 1972 this was the first airplane in the oh. collection oh is it really yeah, okay yeah, yeah. wow so it's very special to us I bet and yeah. of course there's many special uh, you know um, planes here and that's why the Hamilton Air Show is considered that's why it's so world famous because of the advantage of having the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. It's and and the, again, it's a flying history. Here. It's a flying history where where uh, we bring history to to life through flight. And the other thing is that this is the largest vintage military air show in Canada, if not North America, in our first year back in ten years. Wow, just so. amazing. Yeah. So uh, again, it's the Hamilton Air Show. Three days, free parking. Tickets are twenty five bucks. Yeah. And uh, HamiltonAirShow.com is the website for. Yeah, and we'll have Dr. Dave Williams, astronaut, who has the most uh, time, and uh, you've talked to him. And Absolutely, he's, he's going to be here signing involved. autographs. Yes. yes, he's on our board. He's yes, that's be, right. Uh, speaking to everyone tomorrow. What? Well, thank you, Dave, for uh, just letting us in early for this sneak peek. We've got lots more to come on Morning Live. Leslie, hey, welcome back to the uh, Hamilton Air Show. It is back after ten years here at the uh, Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum and Hamilton International, and all kinds of uh, vintage aircraft are here, like uh, that one that's not going to fly, Ray. But <laughs> but that Mustang. <laughs> that you can win that 2011 Mustang brand new. Uh, there's a raffle tickets are, uh, Al, 25 bucks for the raffle tickets? Uh, 20. 20 bucks, there, I cut you a deal right there. 20 bucks for a raffle ticket, um, and you could win that car, and the raffle tickets help pay for the restoration of this beautiful bird, Bruce Mayer. Thanks for joining us. You have a long history, not just with the, uh, the of course, this beautiful facility now, now, but you go back to the original museum. Yes, that's right, Bob. Uh, Back in the 70s when the uh, Warplane Heritage started their first air shows, it was really a collection of warbird enthusiasts. And so we've really returned to our roots. And I think this is fantastic. Uh, we've gone from what happened back in 2011, or in, in 2001, mm -hmm. uh, with the disaster in New York, New York that uh, the air show business kind of went downhill because of insurance costs. So right. it's really nice to see us starting small, uh, starting off with vintage aircraft yes. and, and bringing that back. And what better place because there are so many birds here that Beautiful. just are not seen anywhere That's else. Right. And actually, here's a good example here. That's right. And one of the hard workers, i got to head over to Wally here because Wally, uh, along with a, a very large crew of uh, volunteers and supporters, have been working tirelessly putting this piece of history uh, together. It's the Bowling Brook, Canadian made, but... Uh, well, uh, you're actually bashing this together from just some parts found in a bunch of western fields? From eight derelict aircraft, and when I say derelict aircraft, they brought them here in terrible condition. Hunters had shot them up, farmers had run over them with tractors. The nose here was used as a chicken coop. We had to wash the chicken manure out of it to start it. Unbelievable. So in the short time that we have, I mean, first of all, how long is this going to take? This has to be just, just in terms of coming up with the materials. This is not just for static display. When you're finished this, you'll be flying this. Definitely it will fly. There's no doubt about it. Now, I've got 24 years of my life wrapped up in this bird. It better fly. <laughs> <laughs> really well, you're fun. the guy to make it happen. So, right. what are next steps here? I mean, the, well, you, you got like the wing attached thing? at Christmas time. Uh, what do you have to? How long? And, and what are you guys doing? All right, this is the center section. This part in here, mm -hmm. and uh, it is the main part of the aircraft. It holds the landing gear, the engines. It also holds the rear fuselage and the nose all together. It is extremely strong. It's built like a bridge. And there's steel spars passed through here, which we have completely replaced. How many guys have you got working on this? We've had about 18, up to 30 at one time, but 
about 18 right now. It's a lot of work and it requires bucks too, so we encourage everybody to get involved with the museum as well. well these guys are just absolutely wonderful. They well, and they gush about you, Wally. You know what? <laughs> Stick around. More of Wally, more of the uh, the Hamilton Air Show. Nice to have it back because, again, there's just so many incredible, uh, the flying history. As we just look around this huge expanse, uh, you know, works in progress and works that are completed and in the air this weekend for the Hamilton Air Show. Now back, and we'll be back with lots more Morning Lab going on. Hey, thanks, Wally. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Morning Live and welcome to the Hamilton Air Show, which is kicking off uh, at 9 o'clock this morning. And Rob Thompson, one of the many volunteers here, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a flying air show, but also uh, attached to, it's such a famous air show in Hamilton because it's attached to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. And there's so many great vintage aircraft, some flying today. Of course, every day, 2 o'clock, the uh, flights start. But uh, many works in progress, including the Avenger behind us here. Many works, yes. Yeah. This, this one's been in progress for uh, since... October 2009. Okay, we got to, We should do some shadows. We've got our uh, Keith in there, and also that's your Len, yeah. who's playing the role of eye candy, but yeah. <laughs> he plays a much larger role in the uh, rest Very much Smile so. and wave, Len. Very much so. <laughs> but uh, Len's a machinist, and he's worked with a lot of the uh, providing and redoing the metal work. Very much so. Very much so. It's it's guys like him that uh, that, that are doing the predominance of the work on this, on this aircraft, uh, under the guise of CWH engineering, of course. Um, but we plan to have this thing flying this time next year. Okay, this time next year it will look like this. We've actually got a picture of the uh, Grumman Avenger. Um, and now this plane, the Canadian role, tell us about that. Okay, uh, Canada operated um, Avengers uh, from uh, uh, 1950 until 1960 in the anti-submarine uh, role. Right. And uh, um, they were the largest uh, uh, user of Avengers at that time. Um, now they actually um, were designed for carrier landings. Uh, we've got a shot too, and Luke can rack that up for us. So that we had it earlier, the uh, Firefly and the folding wings. Um, so this Avenger that we're working on, much like the uh, Firefly, it, it will also have a folding wing capability because it was landing on the Canadian aircraft carriers when we had them. Yes, that, that's correct. Uh, and actually, the Avenger was the uh, successor to the Firefly, and uh, it flew off the HMCS Magnificent, uh, our aircraft carrier at the time. How bad was this thing when you found it? And give us the history, the background of this actual uh, Avenger. Well, this actual Avenger was built in 1945 uh, by uh, the Eastern Aircraft Division of General Motors. Uh, uh, and because of wartime contingencies, all sorts of other companies were making aircraft. Right. Uh, but this, this aircraft never actually flew during the war. Mm -hmm. uh, went almost immediately into uh, aerial uh, uh, firebombing and uh, spray uh, roll. Okay, uh, and that's what it was doing, or it was retired, but that's what, that was its last function out east when you found it? That's right. It, it uh, had flown up until about 1992 as mm -hmm. a spray aircraft and then was put into storage. Yeah. Uh, it went through a couple of owners with without ever having flown again. Yeah. We were able to get it in uh, 2009. We trucked it here to Hamilton. And it, again, it's a work in progress. It was a yeah. fixer-upper. <laughs> so uh, this was, time next year, was. You know, it's a date, because uh, why don't we go flying in this this time next hey, year? Hey, that's a date. All right, mean, meantime, there's lots more that you'll see flying today and all weekend long this Father's Day weekend for the Hamilton Air Show. It is back, and we're back with uh, more of a sneak peek, but the gates are opening at 9, and uh, lots of birds in the air at 2 o'clock this afternoon and 2 o'clock uh, throughout the weekend. Leslie? Yes, the Hamilton Air Show is kicking off at 9 o'clock, and uh, lots of, uh, and this is going to clear up too, so lots of birds in the sky starting at 2 o'clock every day this Father's Day weekend. And boy, it's been great getting this sneak peek on uh, Morning Live with all the great vintage aircraft, uh, all the great volunteers, the great engineers, and the great acrobatics. That's your cue, Rick Rickards here. <laughs> we have never seen a man get inside a vintage aircraft faster than Rick Rickards go. He can <laughs> Look at this, it's like Spider-Man flies. We are in... This is a, a Westland Lysander? That's correct. Okay, well, and uh, you're going to be flying this. This is this is an extremely, we, you know, we've been looking at some of the restoration works in progress in earlier segments. This is a great example of a finished masterpiece and the work that they're doing here at the Warplane Heritage Museum <laughs> that the Hamilton Air Show certainly benefits from, seeing birds like this. So what was the a very interesting history with the Lysander? Very interesting history. It designed in the late 30s by Westlands. Um, <clears throat> It served with the Army uh, observation people right. as an observation role. 
And then later on, it served in the Battle of Britain. And they used the search for and air rescue. Yes, yeah, search yeah. and rescue. I love the but spy component, though. There's it's a it's huge most role. famous role was was serving with the SOE, mm -hmm. um, service in the underground French resistance. Mm -hmm. They would uh, take spies into Europe and uh, drop off uh, supplies mm -hmm. to support the underground resistance. So at that time, it was actually all black. Would have been black, yes. Right. And and operations would have been at night, midnight. Yeah. No one knew what was going on. Right. Uh, they would pick up downed airmen and bring them back to the UK. And the flying characteristics of this match that mission profile it, with the short takeoff short and landing. Short takeoff and landing. But yes. that makes it kind of finicky. And the restoration pro, uh, process, we've only got about 30 seconds here, but you're scouring the world for parts from the these tires. Absolutely. To, I mean, what? A, how many years to get this flying today? Uh, well over 25 years. Yeah. Well over. And, and, and while it's a privilege to fly this airplane, uh, it's really the volunteers that put this together, you know, and we have many talented so, people in the museum. So many, many man hours yes, behind yes. this, but uh, then when you fly it for the first time, it's a plane that hasn't flown in so many years, you know, you can research it all you want, but it's not until you uh, get in the cockpit. And yes. You were saying this was a little finicky. Yes, you, you, uh, you do your homework yeah. and you read the manuals. Yeah and you uh, talk to people who flew them and well, draw on your own experience. Well, we're going to get you to jump out of this one fast because we have another one over there that you're going to fly for us at the end of the show. So okay. keep the flight suit on and you stay tuned to Morning Live. We're back with lots more from the Hamilton Air Show, which is kicking off at 9 o'clock this morning. The world gets still. I'm learning to fly. All right, we're going to go back up to Bob right now at uh, Hamilton International Airport. And, uh, oh, man, it's so nice to have the air show back, Bob. It's so exciting after 10 years. What are you up to at this point? Well, yeah, it's great to have it back and, yes, back mm -hmm. up in the air. In fact, we're going to be up in the air. Uh, the uh, gates open at 9 o'clock, but we're getting a jump start because we're actually taxied and ready to go. One of our cameras is on board that Stearman, that uh, plane that was used as a spy plane uh, in the Second World War. Uh, we've got uh, Rick Rickards in that plane. And Mark Allen right here, thanks for joining us. I had a great view of this plane yesterday this hell diver rick's uh, mark brother is all the way from uh, houston texas great to have you here in hamilton for the air show thank you very much bob it's a pleasure to be here this uh, quite a history behind and restoration behind this bird here but uh, when we were in the lancaster i was in the observation uh, bubble looking at you flying in formation and it was kind of fascinating watching you fly in the formation i didn't see your eyes on the controls of this plane once you were just watching us absolutely which when is you, required absolutely when you're flying so close to another airplane that's all you've got to do is uh, Keep close. You don't want to obviously have an accident. So yeah, this one actually did have a very bad accident many years ago. Yes, in the, in the 80s, it uh, lost an engine on takeoff and yeah. they had a bad crash. Nobody was injured, but the airplane was very badly damaged. So uh, and it was rebuilt completely. Yeah, much and, like uh, the work that's done here with so many planes. Absolutely. This restoration, how much? And uh, we have uh, some. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, we'll roll some of the video too because I think we have some of the formation flying. But tell us about the restoration project uh, in terms of uh, the man hours and the dollars. And it uh, it took uh, all of um, ooh, probably five years of solid working on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it took about two three hundred thousand dollars to rebuild the airplane. Uh, nowadays, it would probably cost a million dollars. Uh, yeah prices have obviously increased. This is the only one flying in the world. That is correct. There's only uh, six total left. They built 7,000 of them and there's six total. The other five are in museums and this is the only flying example. Wow, just and incredible. I'm the, and I'm the luckiest guy to fly it. Absolutely. You've got a very fun job and we're so thrilled that you could be here for the Hamilton Air Show, which is kicking off, as I mentioned, in about 10 minutes. Uh, and uh, so you can see Mark and the Helldiver and uh, your crew here from Texas and so many. This is very much a flying air show. So tickets are 25 bucks uh, for adults, free parking. And boy, it is just an amazing experience. We're going to get a jump start in the show here because we have one of our other cameras. We've got Keith inside that Stearman. Yep. We are taxied and cleared for takeoff. We're with uh, Morning Live, so why don't we take you to break with this great shot. Oh, <laughs> 